L.A. County voters will soon decide whether embattled District Attorney George Gascon will stay in office for another term. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Haskell sat one on one with Gascon and talked about his chances in what is a hotly contested race. We're in a much better place today than we were four years ago. That's the message from Los Angeles County District Attorney George Gascon, who faces a record 11 challengers in the primary next month as he seeks a second term. Gascon's challengers have run campaigns against the incumbent rather than against each other, and the large field could help Gascon. Why so many candidates? A USC Dornsife poll conducted last month found 51% of voters disapprove of the job Gascon is doing. We're dealing with violence, and in fact, violence has come down, which clearly indicates that the work that we're doing is not necessarily, it doesn't cost crime to go up. Um, but we're also addressing the issues of over incarceration. We're seeing issues of, uh, you know, the equity within the system. And I think that that creates a certain level of anxiety for some people. And also for some, it creates an opportunity. They view it as a, you know, we want to go back to the tough on crime, what, whatever that looked like. Gascon tells Eyewitness News all his challengers want to take us backwards, but believes the reforms he's brought to L.A. County will result in crime continuing to go down after it went up during the pandemic. Gascon admits he got off to a rough start. A very difficult first year. Uh, we're not there anymore, you know, and, and, and a lot of what you see right now is really you're still people thinking about what happened in 2021 uh, as opposed to what is happening in 2024. But property crime, smash and grab robberies, and the proliferation of homeless encampments are some of the reasons why residents of L.A. County say they still don't feel safe. And some believe Gascon favors criminals over victims. What is your answer to addressing this perception yep. that people aren't safe? Well, I mean, first of all, how is not the answer? Look, it's not that we're not prosecuting or sending people to prison, right? So people may be going now for 5, 10, 15, 20 years as opposed to 30, 40, 50, right? But they're in prison. So even if you were to believe that I was wrong in the approach, you're going to have to wait several years to see how that plays out right now. All the science that we know about the impact of lengthy incarceration points out that we're probably heading in the right direction. Gascon believes he gets blamed for many issues not under his jurisdiction, saying he doesn't have a stack of misdemeanors sitting on his desk, and he doesn't believe Prop 47 has made us less safe. He also maintains he's not responsible for the homeless crisis. Until we create more housing, until we deal with the issues of mental health, right, neither the city attorney nor the district attorney are going to be able to cure these problems. If a candidate in the DA's race doesn't receive more than 50% of the vote in the March 5th primary, there will be a runoff between the top two finishers. It's highly unlikely that a candidate will receive more than 50% because of how large the field is. In downtown LA, Josh Haskell, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. The California primary election is happening on Super Tuesday and we'll bring you complete coverage. We'll be following all the major races throughout the afternoon here on Eyewitness News and we'll be live all evening with the latest results as they come in on our 24-7 streaming channel. That's March 5th. Watch ABC7 Los Angeles anywhere you stream. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.